Hello Pisces. Welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for being here. So this is going to be your singles and couples love reading for August 2018. Thank you guys for sharing, liking, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you guys because my Pisceans, you guys have really come through with your support. A few of my favorite Pisces, you guys are wonderful, and I really appreciate you supporting my channel. So let's get into the energies for my singles, okay? My single Pisces for August 2018. What's going on for you guys? Let's see what's happening. I keep hearing the words unconditional love. Unconditional love. You guys are, some of you are waiting for someone from the past. There's someone that has your heart. So you may be single, but I feel that there's someone from the past that has your heart. This is another Scorpio, Gemini. For some, Virgo, but I feel that's a very small pull, okay? So coming into August, I see that you guys are still kind of holding on to this relationship with this person. Um, but what I'm feeling is that there's unconditional love. So this person may even be a soulmate twin flame, but I don't think that they're ready yet to face themselves. Okay. And I feel that they're keeping you in limbo. They're like not ready. They're just not ready. Pisces singles. I see a Sagittarius coming into your life in August. A possible uh, Sag moon, sun arising, even Venus around the 15th, okay? Um, I do see that this person is coming in with a lot of energy is what I'm feeling. A lot of... It just, it's it feels as if this person is just coming in with a lot of passion, a lot of creativity, okay? And, and this person really like, you know, um, catches your eye. But I do see secrets, you guys, with the Sag. So make sure that you're really taking it slow to get to know this person because I do see that they're not necessarily telling you everything about their lives. I feel like they may have a record or there's some kind of baggage that they need to discuss that's still lingering. I see court um, legal papers. So make sure that you guys ask about that. Single Pisces, August 2018. Freedom, freedom to love, freedom to love. That's what I keep hearing, freedom to love. You just, you guys are in a very loving mood for my single Pisces, August 2018. I sense your heart chakra is very open. You're very accepting of people and you're even accepting and tolerant of people that you thought maybe were not even your type. Like I see you finally, like you're just really opening up your horizons and you're giving people chances that you would not have thought about in the past. I see a lot of open-mindedness in um, August. I see you even considering, in, um, you know, different, um, different elements of sexuality. Uh, some of you guys are experimenting with your sexuality next month, coming out, you know, about your interest in same gender, uh, poly, amorous relationships. I see open relationships. Like you guys are very open, okay? Free love. I see your inhibitions lowered in August. So I see that you guys are, are um, even open to just just loving encounters with people and I don't see you putting a restriction on yourself. Um, Pisces, August, okay. That's interesting. Pisces, energy's working in your favor. Um, you guys, 
if you have if you have a partner that you have or a past excuse me an ex that you've had children with um i do see some issues in august okay she's working the issues is it's just more about custody about who gets to spend more time with your child and i feel that your partner your ex-partner is um energy's working against you uh there's kind of some issues about like your child like who's gonna take your child and when and whatnot so i do see this kind of escalating at the end of the month so you want to make sure that I see this as a possibility that you guys are going to go to court in order to try to establish some kind of structure because I see Pisces that you want custody of your child if you don't have it already or you just don't want your partner messing with your parenting. Um, yeah, there's just such a beautiful sense of unity for my Pisceans in August. There's such a beautiful sense of um, openness, unity. I see you guys, I, I'm having this vision of you guys holding hands with other people. There's such a sense of cooperation, collaboration. Um, love for you is going to be such uh, a, a spiritual experience um, in August. And I, I really feel that you guys have walked away from something that constricted you in the past. And you're now like, okay, you know. So, bottom of the deck is the hanged man in reverse. Perfect, because that's, yeah, okay. That's kind of, you know, hand in hand with what I'm talking about. You guys are taking on a new perspective, okay? So, August is going to be about fresh energy, fresh perspectives, a possible Sagittarius that's going to kind of open your mind to different things. Um, I see that you guys, in August 2018, you are going to question what is love, right? You're going to question if love is truly a monogamous thing or is this something like you're going to question your own relationship with the term love. Some of you may really feel kind of restricted or constricted with this structured way of dating. And I see that you're willing to explore what love means to you, even if that means stepping out into a space of um non-traditional forms of dating okay and i also see that you guys are really kind of branching out and you're coming out of a time where you're really ready to date different kinds of people different ethnic backgrounds like even if you were already doing this i'm saying that i think you're really making a conscious decision in august to date different kind of people in order to really kind of increase your chance at finding someone because I see that you guys want to be more open about the way you date okay so um, the theme for uh, August is the nine of Pentacles and the Empress in reverse they're both in reverse okay so you guys um, Pisces take care of yourselves okay this is this is a card of motherhood so for my Pisces who are you know mothers I feel that there is a lack of teamwork with with um, maybe an ex, which is what I was saying. And I see that there is a sense of abandonment of the self, okay? And and you're not really looking at making um, maybe a, a long-term connection with anyone this month because I feel that you're really focusing, some of you are focusing on your mother issues. Maybe you're healing a situation with your mother and I feel that, you know, the divine feminine here is really at play where you're kind of focused in a different direction, single Pisces. You're focused more on just kind of, I feel you have to get yourself unstuck of a situation. Maybe you guys were in a third party situation because this can also be the mistress card and you're coming out of this and you're like, I just need a break because, you know, whatever it might be. Or this is just saying that you're not looking for anything serious the month of August because you're really in a place where you're trying to find yourself, okay? Um, energy's working in your favor. We have the seven of wands, okay? So you're really, what's working in, the, in your favor is that you have made a decision about something and you are standing your ground, Pisces. You're saying, this is what I want. This is what I expect. You're not being pushed um, around when it comes to your values or what it is that you want 
energies working um, that are blocking you in August is the three of wands okay so again some of you may be kind of lingering on someone from the past and you're waiting for them to come back some of you may be really still in love with this person and you're hoping to see if they come back to you in the meantime i do see you dating but again maybe you're not ready for something serious because you have your eyes on someone else others i feel that what's blocking you is a sense of restlessness in matters of love you're leaving behind the known and you're searching for something more. This can also be a perfectionist card where nothing makes you happy. Maybe all you can have the best looking partner, the best partner ever, but you're searching for something deeper. Maybe that they're, you're really looking for a partner with the depth and, and you're just making that, that leap where you're like, I'm gonna close myself off and I'm looking for what I wanna look for, okay? So um, at the end of the month, we're looking at the Seven of Cups. So you guys are gonna have options, a lot of dating options, some people who are gonna be better than others, but again, make sure that you're not indulging too much in the fantasy of things and really get realistic about what it is that you or your partner or your, you know, your potential partner who's coming in in August wants because I see that this can be some confusion. Maybe there's a little bit of drugs here or enhancements that are clouding how you really feel or clouding your judgment. Um, so you may want to kind of, you know, center yourself on that. Now, Pisces couples. All right, you guys, I'm going to try to make this quick. Um, Pisces couples. Oh, my throat. <laughs> so some of you may, may need to speak your truth. I feel, yeah, you guys are holding on. You guys are holding on to something, a secret, or you're holding on to a relationship. Oh, I feel all this tightness right here. You are holding on to someone who um, limits the amount of self-expression you can do. I feel that this person may have anger issues that you're with, and you yourself, you find it hard to express your emotions because... I'm sensing that some of my Pisces, if you're dealing with an Aries or you're dealing with a Libra, there's some kind of explosiveness about them that's making you not want to um, express yourself, uh, Pisces couples. Okay. And I, I do sense that. So you guys watch your throat chakra, August 2018, really express yourselves. Find a creative way if you feel you can't express yourself to your partner verbally. Please don't hold it in because I see this causing some issues in the throat. So you may even have swollen glands or you may suffer from um, some kind of throat issue in August if, if this isn't cleared, okay? So energies that are blocking. Yeah, there's some issues here, you guys, with your partner, but that's all right. We can, you know... Um, what I'm seeing is that um, August 2018 with your partner, there may be an, um, an imbalance as far as uh, finances. Maybe there, I, I sense that maybe you or your partner, you guys have a, a, a difference, um, differences in lifestyles when it comes to money and you guys are gonna bump heads about that. Someone is more thriftier than the other and the other is spending too much. There's just too much spending here. Or there's indulging. There's just indulgences here where I feel that you or your partner need to discuss what's going on and really bring this into awareness. I feel addictive patterns with your partner, unhealthy codependencies for some. Uh, energy's blocking my seeds here, couples. Yeah, watch your money, you guys, please, because what I'm seeing is that your partner, you or your partner, there, there are finances that are coming out the door is what I'm seeing, and, and one of you guys are not aware. I feel, Pisces, your partner is spending more than they're saying, or there's just, there's something with money here, you guys. Someone's using someone else for money. Yeah, you guys, some of you guys are with, um, yeah, this is heavy. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Uh, two of wands in reverse, okay? I'm going to try to make this quick. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who um, you have a soul contract with, you have a soulmate connection with, and 